welcome to my vlog of Australia so far so I'm in Sydney and here's some of the places that I've been to so it's starting off with Cronulla Beach now Cronulla is a beautiful beach so here is Monroe Park which is just found just before you get to Cronulla Beach it's absolutely beautiful it's a great way to have a nice little picnic or just relax one thing that I love about Cronulla Beach is the fact that it is a patrolled beach so you have lifeguards between 8 and 6 p.m also if you don't want to swim in the open waters there's two swimming pools available or swimming areas so you have one for children and one for adults it does get very busy but you know there's if you walk up the coastline there's other beaches so you can see here we have wonder beach which is another beach that's also patrolled there's oluria beach which is also patrolled so in the next clip you'll just see this is wonder beach but then you'll see some other clips as well I have to say the waves are very strong so on some days you do have to make sure that you check the Sutherland Shear website to see if the beach is actually open. Ice cream breaks are very necessary but the prices that you will pay it's absolutely ridiculous but this was absolutely lovely and also sloshy was also needed. So here at Wonder Beach there's also a lot of open space and where you can just chill about you can see the dogs playing there there's a basketball court in the next clip that you'll see so this is far away from the beach so it's actually a nice place if you just want to chill out near the beach see the water see the scenery without actually going onto the beach but here just walking alongside Ramsgate beach i didn't really get any footage on the actual beach but this one isn't as nice as Cronulla, but it's a close option so this is Hatsfield town area is it a town i'm not sure that it's a suburb i was lucky enough to experience the chinese new year in sydney which is a big celebration that happens throughout the two week period a lot of activities do take place this is in Hertzville, but in sydney as in central sydney there's a lot of things that do take place such as fireworks jetpack dances there's so much available to do Even though it's Chinese New Year, there's a wide variety of cuisines available to choose from. Different food stores offer different dishes from all over the world, which is really nice to see. So the day, this day it was very cloudy outside, so I decided to go to one of the local museums. The museum features some art, art pieces that look into the Aboriginal culture and history of the Aboriginals and there's also some other pieces like this. These things made out of seashells, I'm not quite sure what they were, I'm just doing a voiceover so these are really pretty though. And it's actually free access to this museum so anyone can go. On the topic of museums, I also got the opportunity to visit the Chow Chak Museum at the University of Sydney. This is also free access to anyone, students, the general public. However, this day it was pouring with rain. The Chow Chak Wing Museum is open seven days a week and it's located at the Camperdown campus of the University of Sydney. At the Chow Chak Museum, you can find a lot of different artifacts from different cultures and eras so here you can see artifacts from the ancient egyptian mummies since moving to sydney i have fallen deeply in love with food especially korean cuisine here you can see i have a cheese dog now this is cholesterol, I'm not going to lie to you, and it's typically a lot of salt, a lot of sugar, but the food is unreal, okay? You really have to try it, like some of the local places, like these chili chicken wings, 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10, 10 out of 10. The snow wings weren't too nice, I thought that they were too crunchy. Before coming to Sydney, I always wondered what was the big deal over boba and I understand now I'm absolutely in love and it's one of my things that I love to do. I have boba at least 
three times a week. This is the end of my video. Thank you if you made it to the end. See you in the next one.